So you want to know how to turn a normal CB into a CB you're able to plug in your computer? Well, stay tuned. Hello guys, I'm Delta Bravo Production and today's episode we're going to take this CB mic and make it work for a computer. Why do you want to do this? Well, it adds a little something to your simulator game that you want to play with. So if you want to play with trucks or farming or whatever simulator game that requires a CB mic, it adds something a little more that's more fun to use. This is the parts that you will need. You will need a CB mic, a mouse. The mouse is there to have uh, an input, so when you click the button, it will send out an input to your computer and your computer will open the mic so the mic is not always on. You will need a 3.5 millimeter jack for mics, so the difference between that and a normal one, it has three sections, one, two, three. And if you take a normal one, which I don't have here laying around, there'll be four sections. That's that's not what you want. You want one, two, three. So it's a mic, it's a mic uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. That's the basic parts that you need, but I'm also adding a project box so I can close everything in and a plug so you can plug it in and just make it a little more neater. Let's focus on the CB mic. All right, so here we have the CB mic. I'm using a mic called the Super Star. The serial number is DM507-4. This mic is pretty cheap. I got it on Amazon or eBay, I'm not sure. Anyways, links will be down in the description and where you can find it. And uh, this CB mic has four pins. It's important you get one that has four pins. It's a must, you need to. Not three, not five, not 10, not 45. Okay, they don't make 45 pins, but four pins is what you need. So let's open this up. So this is what the inside of a CB mic looks like. You have the microphone itself. You have a switch and then you have a wire and this is the switch that just press against here to make contact. So let's put this aside. I'll do a little drawing on what we need to make this work and then we're going to do it. So it's quite a simple, nothing complicated. You have your mic right here. You then have your switch. And then you have your wires, right? So what you want in the end is you want microphone positive, microphone negative. So that's to one wire to another wire. And then you have your switch here. And you, have, you want one to connect to another wire and one to connect to another wire. That's it. In the end, this is what you want. Now, is it already made like that? Hell no. It's made for however the CB works. I haven't, I don't really know how each CB works, but it's made for that specific one. So what we're gonna do is step number, number one is we're just gonna remove all the wires from the switches and we're gonna expose them and then we're gonna take a multimeter and we're going to test out which wire goes to which pin. And then from there, we're gonna do what the drawing says. So I'm using a soldering iron to do this, to remove the wires. I think it's gonna be simpler this way for me. If you don't have one of those, holy crap, this is hot. If you don't have one of those, it's gonna be a little more difficult for you guys to do it. Like so. So this, we're gonna put this aside five seconds. If we take a look at the wires here, we have four wires, correct? 
But in here, there's more wires. And I'm hoping that the, we don't need that. I don't think we do. If we do, we'll just strip that out. But I believe those four wires should be technically those four pins there. So I'm going to use a wire stripper. You can use a normal little uh, tool, a little um, pliers here to strip your wires. I'm fancy, so I use this. Four wire exposed. Now what you want to do is take another piece of paper and you actually want to write down what each wire is going to the pin here because once we connect this to there we want to make sure everything is good so if you look at the pin here this one has numbers i don't think you're able to see it but it's numbered one two three four it's numbered like this and there's a little nut nut knot up here so what we want to do is just Don't mind my drawings here. Like so, that's one, two, three, and four. And then we want to write down which wire goes to where. We're going to take the black one first. The black one will be the negative of the mic. Take it. And then we're going to check here with a multimeter, which I don't have it on camera. It's going to be right here. Which you don't see it, it's gonna be right here. Now you see it. I have it set to community, community, yeah, that thing there. <laughs> that test out if you, uh, if you have connection goes to 0, 0.00. And then you're gonna test out each pin and find out what it is. So I just tested out this one and it's actually pin number one, which is black. And then we want to do this for the pink. The pink will be the positive of the mic. And actually that's pin number three. So that's pink. And then yellow. We'll test out. Yellow is a pin number two. So technically the blue one should be pin number four. It's gonna make sure and double. Yes, it is. The switch has six pins and usually there's a common one and then there's an always on one. So that's when the switch is in the off position, it makes contact and then it goes into the um, into the on po position, it will make contact with the other pins. So it's simple again with the multimeter. The middle one should be the common. We're going to touch on one side, on the on other side. So if we test here on the other side, as you can see, it makes contact. And then technically, if we turn on the switch, not sure if that's turned on enough. Yeah, it shouldn't make contact. And actually, it doesn't make contact on the other side. Oh, yes, it does. I wasn't going in the right pins. So when it's in off position, this and this makes contact. If it's in the on position, this and this makes contact. Now you might be wondering why there's another set of pins here. It's just a double throw, they call it. So that acts like another switch in the same switch. We're only going to use one side here. And now all we have to do is wire this wire the um, wires of the wire, shoulder of the wires to the mic and this and it will be good. And we're going to add a little soldering here, a little here. So black wire goes to the negative. 
And then we're gonna put the pink one as the positive, but there's no red, so pink is almost red. And for the mic, that'll be it. We need the switch now. We're gonna add a little soldering iron, a little solder here. And bingo, add the mic back in. And it's that simple. If you want, you can use a tab of hot glue. I'm gonna put in hot glue for the switch to make sure nothing moves. I'm not, don't think anything's gonna move. But you can if you want to. And then next thing we need to do is assemble the mic. Focus now on the 3.5 jack. 3.5 jack is quite simple, nothing complicated. So we have this jack that has two males. Could be a female, could be a male, that doesn't matter. What you wanna do is cut one piece out like so. Then we're gonna extend the wire here. And it has three wires wide because there's three tips here. One, two, three tips. Now to know what is what, usually this ring here is the negative and then you have, if it's a stereotype mic, you have two uh, left and right ear. And what we're going to do, test this out, it's simple. The multimeter once again will be our best friend. So take out the trusty old uh, multimeter. And we're gonna test out that theory. You know, I'd rather always make sure we test it out than, you know, break everything or do it twice. Multimeter, negative outside is negative. Then the white one should be one of those two. It is, it's the tip. And the red one should be the middle. And it is. So if we look back to our diagram here, we want to connect pin number one here to mic negative and the pink one, which is number three, to mic positive. If you guys remember, I bought this little adapter here. What you could do if you don't want to use that, you could actually just cut the wires here and then directly solder them on. But I just want to make something a little more cleaner. So we're going to use this. We're going to open it up. So how do you know which pin is which? So here is the little knots we're talking about. Now remember, if we do like this, this one is not number one anymore. It's this one on the side. But luckily for us, if we turn it around here, this one is numbered. Don't think guys will be able to see this. It's numbered one, two, three, four as one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be simple for us to wire this. So let's hold it here. I do wanna be in the camera a little for you guys. And then once again, we're gonna do like we did before, put some soldering and then solder it on.
All right, after 10 hours of doing this, this is done. So first thing before attaching the mouse, what you wanna do is just plug it in your computer and see if the mic works just like that. Alrighty, we're back. So you plugged it in, test it out, it works. It's wonderful, everyone's happy. Now, the final part, one of the final parts, clear up some places here, is to add this, which is the mouse itself. And why the mouse? Because we're gonna use the middle button here as an input for the computer. So when you click on it, it will uh, open up the mic in uh, TeamSpeak or Discord, whatever app you use. First thing is you open up the mouse. And I took the cheapest mouse on eBay, I think it was like $3, $4, something like that. Open it up, this we don't need. You then just want to remove this, this we don't need. So all you want is this. Where is the mouse button? So here you have left, right, where is the middle one? It's right here. And I don't know if you guys can see that, if I'm aimed correctly. This is the mouse button we want right here. So this is the two pins that we want. Now, of course, your mouse could be a little different on where it's lo located, but it's usually all the same place. So I just picked up some wires here. Uh, for me, it's a four strand, though we only need two actually. So we're just going to remove two. And uh, there you go, this is what we need. By the way, project box. It's important for you to make sure that everything's going to fit in. And if we put that in here, and then we put the adapter, which is right here. Everything should fit, kind of. Put it this way, I think it's going to fit better. Uh, like so, it will fit, I'm convinced. Okay, so that's all good. So what you want to do, it's simple. Not too hard again. Telling you, this project is one basic project. I've seen things that are harder than this. It's a simple solution. So strip your wires. And what we're gonna do is, remember the buttons right here, two connect things right here. You can leave the button there and connect in the back like I'm gonna do. You can remove the button and connect the wires directly. It's up to you. I'm not gonna get complicated about it. I'm just going to connect directly. for this so we want to put that in here have a little hole so this comes out and this will come out and you actually want to connect that to that the thing is if we connect it directly now to this there's no way for us to put the hole to put this through the hole and make it all clean. So we actually need to drill out a hole first. Almost, but not quite. We have to make it a little bigger. So give me a second guys. I'll be right back with you. Nope, just a tad more. And there you go. What we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some 
glue here all around. So the other thing that we need to do as a whole is for the wires to pass through here. And actually we're gonna do a hole right in the middle here. And that'll be the simplest way to get the wires through. Like so. And why did I choose the middle? It's when you're gonna open it. We're just gonna put the wire like this. Well, that's simple. Okay, so pass the wire through this. This one is actually just gonna get the crap out of, it's gonna go like this out. Not a big deal. But I did this for the wires here. Pass them through the hole. And we're going to then attach that to there. Alrighty, so now let's hook up the wires to the pins are left, uh, pin number two and pin number four. And like so. Then we just have to reattach everything. What I'm going to do, I'm actually gonna put some hot glue around this. Make sure that everything is good. So let me get my hot glue and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're gonna hot glue this. Just a little hot glue. Just to make sure nothing moves. We're gonna close this up. And I just realized I made a boo-boo. It happens, we all make boo-boos, right? I forgot to put it through <laughs> this here. Now the end of the world, made a boo-boo. I could cut the wire in half here. And this is why they invented electric tape, guys. It's when you make boo-boos like that, <laughs> you fix them up. Not the end of the world. It's all good, people. Had to do this on camera for you guys. I'm gonna close this up here. Like so. And then we need to rewire the wires here. Alrighty, step one of the last steps is just to hook everything up and arrange everything. Then all you want to do is add the wires in here and there you go. That should be kind of good. Not perfect, but kind of good. And I'm just gonna hot glue. You can use whatever you want. For me, I'm using hot glue simpler. I think it's gonna be simpler for a lot of people. like so, hold it in, and hot glue the rest on the other side. Now I might be not in focus, I'm sorry guys. And there you go. All then we need to do is close this up and go test it out on the computer. 
Alrighty guys, so you took the little thing, you plugged it in. Jesus Christ, don't break everything. Um, you plug it into the computer, you have your mic right here. Your little box is plugged in, the USB is plugged in, and 3.5 jack is plugged in. So what you wanna do is open up the sound here and make sure that everything is working fine. You just type in here, search sound, and you'll find it. Open that up, good recording. Mine's called Stream Mic because I renamed it, but it's not going to be called that for you. Just make sure what's the default uh, device. You want to go Properties. First thing is what you want to do is click Listen to this device. Say Apply. So when you're talking to it, prop to work, it should uh, you should be able to hear it. Now you want to might you might want to adjust the levels here. There's a boost and a microphone. Adjust it to 100. Now, now this should, should be, be a lot, lot better. better. And you can adjust the boost. And we're going to get an echo here, but don't worry about it. Echo, 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 echo. echo, echo. echo. So that works. Yeah, quite an echo there. You might also want to put noise suppression or echo can cancellation. I don't, I don't think, think uh, it could work. work. Nah, uh, no. <laughs> Whatever works best for you. So you adjust the settings that you want, let's put it this way. And when you're done that, remember to turn off listening to device or it's gonna turn you crazy. Then we're gonna use TeamSpeak for as an example, but this works also in Discord. If you open up Discord and go to your settings here, that will also work out good. You go to tools for, uh, for TeamSpeak, go to tools, options, and then you're going to go to capture you're going to select the device that you want for me it's going to be the stream mic and then push to talk we're going to assign a key and when you press the button it will act like mouse button number three so when you talk into it it'll light up uh why is this file oh there you go it will light up so that's the simplest way of doing it uh, to make it work. So when you press on it, you can talk into it and that works. Bingo. You could remap this uh, button if you wish. I think it's called X mouse, mouse something. I don't remember what it's called. X mouse button control. This is a little app that you can download. I'll put the link down below in the description. And what this basically does is you're able to assign your middle mouse button to whatever key that you want. So let's say that, because I'll give you an example. If I click here and press the mouse button, or if I'm over something like this, it could possibly trigger something else and you might not want that. Uh, when I'm in a game, it doesn't really matter for me because the mouse, middle mouse button is not usually used for anything. But if you're just hanging out like that, that could, you know, possibly cause a problem. So if you use the software like this, um, let me reopen it here. You can then put the middle mouse button to anything that you want. Could be a key, could be uh, anything that you want, actually. So simulate a key, and then you could decide that it's going to be eight. And when you press on it, it's going to press eight, and so on and so forth, or whatever key that you want to. So this software could be useful for you if uh, the middle mouse button is used for something else, or could trigger something else. So guys, that'll be it, that'll be all. Hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully it's not too bad as a video. I'll, I'll have to do the edit now and check it out. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to get more videos like this out, uh, teaching you guys how to do little custom things like this and make uh, your sim simulator a little much better than what it is. So if you liked it, press the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and share it with your friends, show your friends what you're able to do now with a mic. So guys, that'll be it, that'll be all. Till then, take care.